afternoon. Hope you all had a good lunch. We are now going to commence with the next presentation by Mr. Fabrice Marie. Allow me to please introduce him. Fabrice is the manager of FMA RMS, a small dedicated security consulting firm based in Singapore. Developer by trade for many years, he has been involved in the information security field for over seven years. His interests are in secure programming, cryptography, open source, and firewalling techniques. For the last few years, he has been breaking mostly bank and telecom web applications in the Asia Pacific region, as well as performing <coughs> penetration tests for them. Originally from France, Fabrice has been staying in Singapore for the last six years. And today, he will be presenting to us Application Intrusion Prevention Systems, a new approach to protecting your data. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming Fabrice Marie. Thank you. So the whole goal today basically is to uh, present uh, some new technologies that are not ready yet, will be ready soon. Uh, there is a big gap on the market right now in terms of application security. We'll see why it's important and why there is a gap. And uh, the whole goal is to present technology that will effectively stop uh, application attacks when properly implemented. Uh, right now, people tend to forget that application security is extremely important. When you look at the amount of money spent uh, on each layer, you quickly realize that application is the one on which you spend the least. Having said that, it's not quite true. You pay your applications millions of dollars and yet you don't secure them, you don't care. You just put them there, get some, uh, some crappy implementers to, to put it in place for you and then it just doesn't work. So a million dollar application that doesn't work is a bit expensive. And when it works, it won't be secure because you didn't audit it and things like this. Why do we want to hack, to hack web applications? It's very simple, because we can. It's as simple as this. It's not because you are who you are, we don't care. We do it because it's possible to be done, full stop. And uh, remember, applications are extremely important. If you have applications in the first place, it's because you need to uh, take care of the data. That's why you have computers in the first place too. Network is totally irrelevant. You don't need a network to run half of the applications you're running. It's just today they are networked. So today we have more vulnerabilities due to that. Why do we want to hack the web applications? It's also because it's a lot easier to hack than uh, through the network. I mean uh, a normal network-based attack. On a normal network-based attack, you would have to penetrate the firewall, penetrate the systems, escalate your privilege, find a way to perform your fraud, perform it, and hope for the best. And uh, if you're not caught by then, then you're very good. Whereas on the application, we don't need to do all this. We talk to the application directly. We pervert it to do exactly what we want, as opposed to what it wants. And uh, by brutalizing it a little bit, we just get what we want. Remember, attacking applications is generally simple, uh, provided you know how to program and things like this. If you do, then it's very straightforward. Uh, the main problem in application right now is that there is no enough uh, knowledge, basically. Uh, Gardner found out that there's about 32% of Java developers who have a genuine knowledge of the language. 32% worldwide. So for all the rest, sorry for you. It's, uh, but don't laugh, those are the guys who write your applications. Those who are good are, are, not, are, not working, uh, are not working around here. I don't know where they work, I haven't seen many yet. I would say that it's less than 32 actually. And when they say 32, it's just genuine knowledge. It doesn't mean they know anything about security. It means the guy can code in the first place. So basically, yeah, programmers are just underskilled. Progr real programmers don't exist anymore. They don't even know how memory functions. Remember, you have control over your network because it's building blocks, a firewall here, a hub there, a switch there. It's all uh, generic, uh, generic appliances, but it's not the case with applications. Applications are growing massive and complex, and the more complex it is, the more flows you're going to find. Um, of course, why we want to hack web application is, of course, to make money out of it. Why not? That's always been the holy grail of any attack. Fraud or, or laundering money, stealing, things like this. I presented on hacking internet banking last year. 
a quick, uh, a quick uh, recap of what, uh, what we said last year. This is typically what you find on, uh, on a bank application. This is no bullshit. This is based on 17 or more applications we've done uh, last year. I was lazy to update the statistics for this year. It takes quite a bit of time to update the statistics. So basically, all your horror becomes true. Whatever you thought that the bank is good at protecting your money and everything, it's exactly the opposite that is happening. It is, uh, they are the most trivial systems to attack and the most trivial system to steal money from, of course, because they are dealing with money in the first place. A web application that takes care of, uh, for example, booking a conference room, uh, you won't be able to steal no money from it. It doesn't handle money in the first place. So you need to find a good target application that does a function that you could possibly uh, pervert. And then you pervert that functionality to act the way it should uh, for you and not for the, for the owner. So yeah, we steal money, we look at your credit records, everything. It doesn't mean all the applications have all those bugs, no. But I have uh, some statistics broken down. And uh, the interesting one is, for example, every single application you could steal money from. So if you look at uh, stolen money, it's this one here. Uh, it's only 9%, but 9% globally. And still, in each application you had at least one such bug. So it's scary. It means every single bank could have been defrauded. Uh, for the stealing personal information, it's the same. It's a privacy matter. You can sue the bank uh, for leaking your, your records. And it's the same. Every single application, uh, where is it? Every single application had such a problem. So this is just to cool you down and take me seriously. No. It always works. So uh, now, uh, there's two ways to go about it security-wise. You can prevent the, the attack in the first place, which is not happening, and you can uh, detect. This is what ideas do. So why do we want to bother with detection? It's very simple. If the application was so good, we wouldn't, we wouldn't care. The only reason why we still want to detect, even if the application is super secure,